सो हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टेन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम क्लाइमेट ऑफ इंडिया ओके इट मीन्स टेन एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम क्लाइमेट ऑफ इंडिया एंड दिस इज पार्ट वन ओके सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग आवर टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट सो हेयर इज योर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन टू फैक्टर्स दैट इन्फ्लुएंस द क्लाइमेट ऑफ इंडिया टू फैक्टर्स दैट इन्फ्लुएंस द climate of india and your four options are tropic of capricorn and northern plains tropic of cancer and the great himalayan ranges equator and the great himalaya ranges and tropic of capricorn and tropic of cancer so four options are here which option is correct students it is it is option number 2 that is two factors that influence the climate of india are tropic of cancer and the great himalayan ranges now okay. students let us move to the next question there is question number 2 and your question number 2 is what do you mean by continental type of climate okay so first option neither too hot nor too cold option number 2 very hot during day and very cold during night option number 3 very hot during summer and very cold during winter option number 4 is none of this so students which option is correct option number 1 option number 2 option number 3 or option number 4 so students your correct option is option number 3 that is very hot during summer and very cold during winter okay now let us see the question number 3 your question is why some places of india are not experiencing winter at all why some places of india especially in south india uh, so why some places of india are not experiencing winter at all so four options are here because they don't have vegetation first option be second option because lie south of the tropic of cancer and nearest to the or the nearer to the equator not nearest nearer to the equator option number 3 because this region have large number of buildings and option number 4 none of these so students which is the correct option why some places of india especially some uh, cities or some states of south india are not experiencing winter at all and your correct option is students it is because they lie south of the tropic of cancer or nearer to the equator that is option number 2 is the correct answer now students let us move to the question number 4 so question number 4 is the places situated on the eastern and western coast lines experiences or experience equable type of climate four options are here due to okay due to okay due to presence of the eastern and western ghats option number 2 due to presence of coastal plains option number 3 due to moderating influence of sea or option number 4 none of these so why the places situated on the eastern coastline and western coastline experience equable type of climate so students your correct option is option number 3 due to moderating influence of the sea because these regions are situated near the sea so that's why this region have or this region experience equable type of climate now question number 5 the annual rainfall of the mohsin ram is so you know that mohsin ram is the wettest place of the world that is uh, located in meghalaya state of india okay meghalaya state so here what is the annual rainfall of mohsin ram so four options are here 1187 first option second option 1877 and third option is also uh, same okay typing mistake 1877 and option number 4 1178 so what is the correct option and students what is the correct option correct option is option number 1 that is 1187 cm is the annual rainfall of the mohsin ram okay so now now question number 6 which one among these are not a factor or this is not a factor of temperature okay so four options are here latitude it is a factor of temperature altitude it is also a factor of temperature distance from the sea it is also a factor of uh, temperature so all three options are correct all three options are not correct but they are the factor of temperature so your option option number 4 is correct that none of these are not factor of temperature these all these three are the factor of temperature okay so option number 4 is correct Now, students, question number seven. Question number seven is which statement? Okay, statement, not statesman. Statement. Typing mistake. Among these is incorrect. Okay. So here some statements are given. You have to find out which one is incorrect. So first uh, statement is the Great Himalaya range of obstruct. Okay. So the Great Himalaya range obstruct bitter cold wind. So this option is this statement is correct. Okay. Then. 
हिमालय रेंज इंटरसेप्ट दी रेन बियरिंग साउथ वेस्ट मॉनसून विंड दिस ऑप्शन इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट ओके वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट इन करेक्ट वन ओके ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री हिमालयन माउंटेन आर द सोर्स ऑफ एलुवियम दैट इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट एंड ऑप्शन नंबर फोर हिमालयन रीजन हैव वेरी हॉट क्लाइमेट सो हे आर दैट ऑप्शन नंबर फोर इज इन करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट इन करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट सो योर करेक्ट ऑप्शन विल बी ऑप्शन नंबर फोर दैट हिमाल हिमालयन रीजन हैव वेरी हॉट क्लाइमेट दैट स्टेटमेंट इज इन करेक्ट सो नाउ स्टूडेंट्स लेटस मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर एट नाउ स्टूडेंट्स लेटस मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर एट रेट ऑफ डिक्रीज ऑफ टेम्परेचर विथ इंक्रीजिंग एल्टीट्यूड सो स्टूडेंट एज यू नो दैट एज अल्टीट्यूड इंक्रीज इट मीन्स एज हाइट इंक्रीजेस टेम्परेचर डिक्रीजेस राइट सो हेयर रेट ऑफ डिक्रीज ऑफ टेम्परेचर विथ इंक्रीजिंग एल्टीट्यूड इज वट इज द रेट वन ऑप्शन नंबर वन वन डिग्री सेल्सियस फॉर एवरी टू हंड्रेड मीटर सेकेंड ऑप्शन वन डिग्री सेल्सियस फॉर एवरी वन फिफ्टी मीटर थर्ड ऑप्शन वन डिग्री सेल्सियस फॉर एवरी वन नाइन्टी सिक्स मीटर एंड फोर्थ ऑप्शन वन डिग्री सेल्सियस फॉर एवरी वन हंड्रेड सिक्सटी सिक्स मीटर सो वट इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन और विच इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन रेट ऑफ डिक्रीज ऑफ टेम्परेचर so the correct option is option number फोर that is वन degree celsius for every 166 meter so as you students as you move or as you move वन सिक्सटी सिक्स मीटर अबव द सी लेवल देन टेम्परेचर डिक्रीजेस वन डिग्री सेल्सियस सो दैट इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन दैट इज ऑप्शन नंबर फोर ना स्टूडेंट्स लेट एस मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन वेस्टर्न डिस्टर्बेंसेस ओरिजिनेट इन मेडिटेरियन सी एंड एंटर इन नॉर्थ वेस्ट इंडिया आफ्टर क्रोसिंग After crossing, okay. So western disturbance originate in Mediterranean Sea. From there, it enter to the India or it come to the India. So while entering India, it crosses uh, some countries. Okay. So here four options are given: China, Tibet, Nepal, Bhutan, or Sri Lanka and Maldives. Option number two. Option number three: Thailand, Myanmar, and Bangladesh. Option number four: Iraq, Afghanistan, and Pakistan. So, so students, which option is correct? Your correct option is option number four. That is. Iraq, Afghanistan, and Pakistan. So, Western disturbances, which originated in Mediterranean Sea, enter into Northwest India after crossing Iraq, Afghanistan, and Pakistan. Okay. Now, students, last question. That is question number ten. And your question number ten is the word monsoon is origin from. Okay. So, the word monsoon is origin from. First option Latin word. Second option Greek word. Third option Urdu word. Or fourth option Arabic word. So, which is the correct option? So, students, correct option is option number four. That Word monsoon is taken or origin from Arabic word that is मौसम Okay, so that's all from this video. Ten questions we have discussed and we got answer key also. So we'll meet in second part. Till then, take care.